guys, my name is Emma and let's talk spooky stuff. So today I'm going to talk about five podcasts that you guys should definitely listen to if you love true crime like me. I promise you guys will love at least one of these podcasts. So get out your pads and your paper because you got a lot of homework to do after this. You got a lot of downloading to do. Um, all of these podcasts can be found on like the iTunes podcast, obviously non-sponsored, or wherever you get your podcasts. These are quite popular ones, um, but it's a good reminder for some of the ones that you haven't listened to. And also I'm giving them the tick of approval, the spooky tick. So you guys are gonna love that. Let's get the first one out of the way, which is the one that it's the most popular podcast of all time, and if you're new to podcasts, it might be a good one to start with. It will get you really into it. There's a reason why it's so popular, um, and this is Serial. So there is a first season uh, that is just crazy, and you go on this wild um, true crime kind of um, trip with the host, and uh, I'm not even gonna talk about that one, but it is very important that you listen to that one first, um, not because it has anything to do with season three, but the first season is the reason it became such a big deal. Um, so I definitely recommend uh, Serial season one. Season two to completely crashed. Apparently the producers even addressed this at one point, saying that they had a lot of hype to live up to after the success of the first season. But what I'm gonna talk to you guys about is the season that was released this year that's called Shit Town. And this is one of those podcasts where I think I was like listening to this when I was like walking and one thing happened and I like literally my heart heart sank, I stopped walking. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> and that's when you know that you're listening to a good podcast because I'm such a visual person. So I really love the storytelling that can happen through a host. And I think it's a really hard art form and it can be so clever just to reveal certain things at certain times. So I think that this the way that this podcast is done, it's produced very strategically. And the story of Shit Town is just a strange one. The best thing about Serial, uh, all of the seasons, is it is about more of the host who gets involved in the story. And this season is hosted by Brian Reed, who actually strikes up this kind of friendship with a guy in Alabama um, whose name is John B. And he kind of goes and finds out about what a character he is and then the story kind of changes. It is an amazing tale and really makes you think about different life situations. When the season was released, it was a huge deal and I totally agree with the hype. I would recommend checking this one out. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I'm gonna change the next one up to something that you wouldn't have heard of. This one is called Bowerville, and this is actually an Australian podcast. The true crime story in this one is about three children who all went missing within five months of each other in a really, really, really small town, and pretty much how police did nothing about it. It's a very aggravating listen where you're just kind of hearing how police didn't give a fuck, and then also them recapping the situation because it did happen a long time ago, and even talking to some of the people who let it happen and didn't do anything. I was more impacted by the story of this one because I am Australian and it is insane to hear something like this go on. But I thought it was really interesting, the guys that he tracked down and he gets to talk to people one-on-one. -on -one. And I think he just did a really open, honest way of telling the story, which uh, some of these ones, like I said before, um, with Shit Town and things like that, very heavily produced. So this one is more kind of raw and interesting, but he does do the whole investigation along the way. I'm gonna give this one a three out. Out of five. My next one is a podcast that I didn't know if I wanted to talk to you guys about, but it's been getting so much hype from so many different people. So I thought I might as well mention it to you. I think a lot of you guys really like it. And a close friend of mine who listens to all the same kind of podcasts as me, uh, she recommended it to me and she fucking loved it. So I think some of you guys will really love it. Um, reflecting back on it, I do think it was a bit better than I felt in the moment, but the guy's voice who hosts it is just nasally as fuck. I'm talking about Dirty John, if you guys have heard of it. I'm sure you would have seen it pop up in some articles recently, but if you haven't, Note it down. This one was made by the LA Times and it's hosted by an award-winning journalist, Christopher Goford. I have one word to explain this one to you guys, catfish. It is about a man who is not who he says he is and the family kind of interviewed and you kind of are piecing together what happened along the way. But unlike most of the other ones that go into past crimes, this one is kind of going along the journey of when they kind of discover who this guy is and how it works. It's all happened and it's all been pre-recorded into 
interviews, but they've kind of pieced it together to produce a certain storyline in it. I will say this is a very aggressive one in certain respects. The interviews are really emotional. Um, some are even comedic because it's just like so far-fetched and bizarre, uh, but it's really interesting and there's some Walking Dead references, which I thought was kind of weird and perfect at the same time. Uh, so I'd really recommend you guys just to check out the first couple episodes and see how you feel. I don't think it has a, such a climax as some of the others, um, but it's a very interesting podcast when I reflect on it. I would give Dirty John a, eek, a 2.5 out of 5. <laughs> Another Australian podcast that I would highly recommend is called Case File. And this one is kind of weird because the host is anonymous. I read like an interview from last year where he was anonymous. I'm not sure if he still is, um, but expect a really kind of strong Australian accent and that can kind of put you off. He is kind of slow. Think about me talking in my real faces of horror, shade to myself. I believe it is one of the top podcasts in Australia, but it is kind of episode by episode, a different story each time. Unlike all of the other ones I've spoken about, that uh, series. And the episode that I want to recommend to you guys is the episode on Daniel McComb. It is insane. I really don't want to ruin why. I just want you to listen to it and I think lots of Americans and lots of Canadians will find it very interesting. But as I've said, like all of these other podcasts, this is a true crime podcast and if you're going to start anywhere, that's the one that got me hooked. So definitely check that out. Case File. I would give Case File as a whole maybe like a 3 out of 5, but that episode in particular five out of five. It was amazing. And number five is In the Dark. This one is unlike the other ones because uh, it is by a female host, which I love. Her name is Madeline Baran. I hope I'm saying that right. And she just goes for the neck sometimes. I just love it. This one is another series. I think it's an eight parter and it is about a boy who disappears at night in the dark with his friends and he is taken by a kidnapper. You learn pretty quickly what his fate was, but it's more about why no one did anything, how the police missed the opportunity of a lifetime, and it has a lot of really good um, audio clips of interviews and things from the past, and it kind of just brings back, and then it goes into the present um, situation with the crime. I'm trying to stay really vague because I don't want to ruin anything, but she is great. Instead of trying to make peace with people, she just asks them straight as a journalist, hard-hitting journalism, I like her. Um, I really like the series. I'm gonna give this one a four out of five. I think it's great. And I just wanted to do a really quick bonus one. Uh, my five out of five favorite podcast, maybe of all time, is Sword and Scale. If you haven't heard it, start at the start and it just gets more and more disturbing. This one is episode by episode, um, different stories, but it also has two-parters and three-parters. The host is Mike Boudet, who, I hope I'm saying that right, is just fucking amazing. I just don't know how he gets such good stories. He must have people just calling and calling in. And as you listen, you can see how the show started off really small and a really tight knit community and it just took off. I still listen to this day, not as much as I did before just because I'm listening to so many other things, but I really, really strongly recommend Sword and Scale, Change My Life, best podcast ever. So that's my list of five true crime podcasts, really six, that you should be listening to. Um, if you guys wanna know where I got my shirt, it's actually from a tea box, which is a subscription box where you can get t-shirts delivered to you monthly for a pretty small fee. Um, I have a link that's 10% off if you guys wanna use it. This is a true blood shirt, I love it. It's like so comfy. <laughs> and I love the design, it's just, it's very clever. Anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know you like these kind of lists. I've been doing lists as much and I want to know if you guys like them. And I'll talk to you guys very soon. Stay spooky, guys.